Hello everyone, welcome to my tactics video. You guys have been asking for it for so long. I get it on my Twitch chat, I get it in my TikTok comments, I get it everywhere. We're gonna put it as a video, I'm gonna pin it on TikTok, I'm gonna post it on YouTube so you guys can come here and see my tactics. So I don't have to explain it on video every single time. Okay, here we go. We went 18 and 2 with this team in Weekend League with these tactics. Oh, one thing. I'll start with this. Hold on. I'll start with this. So there's some of you that don't know that you can start with any formation you want and then change formation in game. So I don't play 4-3-3 in game. This is what you do. When you go over here and you go to custom tactics, you go to whichever one you want. I always go to ultra attacking and you set whatever tactics you want. So you can change your formation right here. And then in game, you just press on the D pad. I press right twice on the D pad to get to ultra attacking. And my formation in game changes to this formation. So you can use any formation you want as your starting formation. And then you could change in game right when the game starts to the formation you want to play with. Anyway, I use the 4 2 3 1. This is the formation I use. These are the tactics. We go balance 35 45. Tight width. We want to keep it tight defensively. Let them play on the outsides. They can't hurt us from the outsides. 99% of players aren't playing a style where they're crossing the ball in, so it doesn't really matter if they have that outside control. The only time that's a problem, it's when they run down the flank and cut down the line. You just have to be careful of you know the down-the-line runs using your wingbacks. Depth, 45. You don't want to get counterattacked. You, you play high press is only good if you're extremely good at the game. If you're a lot better than the opponent you're playing, or in, your one, in one of the lower divisions. If you're playing in like Elite Div or Fut Champs against someone that's just as good as you, playing high press, you're probably going to end up getting killed on the counterattack. Because good players can escape pressure, and if they can escape pressure and you're high pressing, that probably leaves you with two, three guys in the back line, and he's got four guys coming at you. So you're, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage if you're playing 65 depth. And your opponent's the same skill level as you. Then we're going balanced direct passing. Everyone does that. It's just the only thing that really works in this game is balanced direct passing. I've never seen it work for anyone else to use something else. With 45, again, you don't want to be too wide. You want to control the middle of the field. Playing on the outside, you're not going to get anything. It's a video game. It's not real football. The width of the pitch doesn't help you as much in this. I definitely like it to be... I like it under 50. Players in the box have it at... Six ticks. I think this is just the perfect amount. There's a couple guys that stay outside the box. So you can see there's a couple guys that make them run in. It gives you a balance between the two. Corners and free kicks I have on two each. I score my corners. <laughs> That's about all I can say. Free kicks, I don't get that many free kicks. It doesn't really matter. Now, in terms of actual tactics, we'll start with the striker. We have him on stay forward. That's it. Just stay up there. Hold the line. Push the defensive line back. Because if you don't have them on stay forward, say I had them on get 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 back on defense, um, then their defensive line can push up, and you know you're you're squeezing it. Your your team is then getting squeezed, and they're putting way more pressure on you. Where if you have Young on stay forward, he keeps them back. He keeps the, the their defensive line in check. Then I think okay, so the central attacking mid I just have on come back on defense. The two wide mids. I have get into the box for cross and come back on defense. Everyone's on come back on defense because when you're in the defensive formation and the opponent is using their midfielders, you want your camps to kind of come back and cover them, make their life hard. Obviously, if you have four guys just sitting on the on the midfield line, it's not going to help you defensively. You're going to be outnumbered. And then the wide guys on get into the box for cross. This is it. Say you're making a play up the right side. Say Trent's booking up the wing. You want Bergwijn to make that run into the box on the far side. That's all that is. Defensively, I have the same thing on both. Cover center, obviously. You want to protect the middle. These are your only two defensive mids. You want to protect the center backs. And stay back while attacking. They still get involved in the attack. It's just, you know, they're going to come back. They're going to help out way more def defensively. Then, I have one of my wing backs on all balanced. My other one is on stay back. Whichever flank you like to play up more, put that player on balanced so you can use him in the attack. Essentially, it just gives you a different option. Instead of doing the same thing every time, say I work it up the left side with Bergwijn, doesn't work, I can switch it, and then I have Trent and Kudus, where Trent can get involved on an overlap, 
where Nake wasn't really overlapping. And then the defense shifts a little bit. You kind of have a three back with two CDMs. Or Rice slots in and covers kind of the middle area. It doesn't completely go to the flank because you have one cover center. So it kind of it works in, in like a shift. And I definitely like having one of my wing backs as with the ability to get forward and get involved in the offense. So in terms of actually in-game, this formation, the way it plays, these two are like the main hub. They're playing a lot of one-twos. They're making runs off each other. Bergwin and Kudos are coming in from the inside. They're making runs into the box. Uh, the two CDMs are kind of just hanging out behind that, that line of three. But they are pushing up. They'll sit on like the 30. <clears throat> when you're on offense, they'll sit on like the 30. You could pass between them. You know, one thing I like to do when I'm playing against a sit back, a sit back kind of player, is you just use that little that like you you have between Bergwin, Kunchu, or however you say his name, Rice and Kudus. You use that that circle passing that you have from Bergwin to Kunchu to Rice to Kudus, and you keep that cycle going until Tadish and De Jong find themselves open or find a run. That's kind of how you can work your offense if you need to, or you can have Bergwin and Kudus cut in. And make a run down the, the end line. There's a lot of ways you can kind of attack it. It gives you a lot of different angles. With Trent as well. When Trent steps up. That gives you another angle. So there's a lot of ways to work it. And then defensively it's super sound. You just have to make sure to control your CDMs. It, it, CDM positioning is the biggest aspect of this formation. So here's a little bit of gameplay. You can see here. Here's a run from Bergwijn. You see him. He's a little bit wide. And then he cuts in. Making that run in the box. We're going to have three different style kind of goals here or plays. I didn't score in the third one, but then here, you know, you can work it across. All four of our attackers get a touch. Kudus is running into the box from the far side. And then here, this is kind of how you utilize against a very defensive player. You can see this guy's got like eight guys in his box. His two strikers are super low. You can kind of just work it around. The CDMs are super involved. You try to find a run for De Jong. Can't find one. You know, it's back to the center. It's back to the CDMs. Keep working around. Out wide, back to the CDMs. You're just trying to find a pocket. See, Tadich finds himself open. Can't seem to work anything. We try to, but then they, let's go back, you know? Just reset it, work it back again between the CDMs. See if you can find another gap. Again, couldn't find one, but we go back. De Jong's open. He should have banged that, but you guys get what I mean there. You can work it around the CDMs. You can attack from the flanks. You've got the far guy running into the box. There's a lot of different ways to go about attacking with this team, but you got to utilize the CDMs. Same thing on defense. You just have to you have to control the CDMs more than you control your own center backs.